Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Thursday Night Football Review for Round 11 of the NRL, where we saw the North Queensland Cowboys take on the Newcastle Knights up at Queensland Country Bank Stadium, where the Cowboys get the result. 36 points to 20. Now, I may not have picked the score correct, but I sure as hell picked the margin correct. I said the Cowboys will win by 16 points, and they did just that. 36 points to 20. It was a very... Um, it was a very strange game of football, you know. The Cowboys had 16 0 early and they looked like they were going to beat the Knights by 30. And then Cowboys lose Tamalolo to, the, to Sinbin and then they lose um, Lock and Bird to Sinbin and we're down to 11. And Newcastle get back in the game at 16 0, but it was a crazy game of football. But before we get into it, make sure you guys like the uh, video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. It's much appreciated. Let's get into the review, man. So the Cowboys and the Knights, round 11. The game started off in the sixth minute or the first try was. In the sixth minute through Murray Talangi, he scores the first try of the game. Cowboys go up to a good start there. Um, Murray Talangi scores the first try. In the 10th minute, Reese Robson scores a try in the 10th minute. A nice offload from uh, Shane Wright, I believe it was. It was a great try there. Cowboys are up 12-0 early. Things are looking very good for the Cows. And then in the 17th minute, Murray Talangi collects a double. Cowboys at this stage are leading 16 points to nil. Newcastle are looking shot. They're not looking too good. And... They were in all sorts of Newcastle Knights. And then a sin bin to Jason Tamalolo, which, I mean, honestly, Tyson Frizzell ran into it. It was soft. There wasn't a lot in it. I thought it was a pretty tough call. I don't believe it should have been a sin bin. I thought it was a really tough call there against the Cowboys. I thought it was a pretty soft penalty. But nonetheless, Tamalolo goes to the bin, and I'm just losing it. I thought it was a ridiculous decision. And not long after that, about two, three minutes after that, Lachlan Bird goes to the sin bin for a... For a high tackle. But, I mean, honestly, it was off balance. I mean, what can you do? It's just ridiculous. So, Cowboys lose two players to the sin bin. And Newcastle Knights get back into the game because of that reason. And there was a try to Sawasa Su in the 23rd minute. He just came on the field. At that stage, it was 16-6. Then in the 27th minute, a try to Anari Chawala. Again, it, Cowboys are down to 11. Man, what can you really do at that stage? 16 points to 10. And right before half time in the 30th minute, Lachlan Fitzgibbon scores for the Newcastle Knights. 16 apiece, and I'm going, well, the Cowboys had Newcastle shot, and then, you know, the sin bins happened. So it was going to be, it was very difficult. It's very hard to defend with 11 men these days. So half time, 16 all. You know, full credit to the Knights for coming back into the game, but they got back into the game on the back of the sin bin. So I thought it was a pretty tough call against the Cowboys there. Second half started well. The Cowboys looked a little bit flat still. Couple of errors, four passes and stuff like that. 46 minute, I tried to stuff a tower. The Newcastle Knights. It was a nice offload from that young kid on debut. Knights lead 20 to 16, and then the Cowboys, man, they were just shooting themselves in the foot. They were doing some stupid stuff. And then a try in the 59th minute to Valentine Holmes. Open space on the left side of the field. It was a pretty soft try, but I tried to Val Holmes. At that stage, it was 20 all. And then um, I tried to Mitchell Dunn. In the 69th minute, it was a pretty, pretty lucky try. Drinkwater put a grabber kick in. Knock on from Kurt Mann. A bit of a miscommunication there. Dunn scores. Val Holmes converts. Cowboys 26-20. And then to, um, a try to... Far out. Just called the, just called, oh, I didn't write it down. Anyway, a try to the Cowboys again. I think it was Murray Tulungi. He collected a hat-trick. That pretty much sealed the deal. It was 30 points to 20 at that stage. And then... With about three minutes to go, young kid on debut, Halim Luki. I can't pronounce his name properly. I do, do apologise. Cowboys, they scored. They scored us pretty much wrap the game up, and the Cowboys, they get the job done with a win, thirty six points to twenty up there in Townsville. Now look, I don't want to say that the refereeing is why Newcastle got back in the game, but let's be honest, that's why they were back in the game. I'm not even being biased. You can talk to any rugby league fan. The Cowboys are up sixteen nil. And you're going, this game's over. Newcastle got no over. And then Cowboys get down to 11 men. It's impossible to defend. And the Knights are back in the game because of that reason. If, if the Simmons didn't happen, which I still think that were ridiculous decisions, the Cowboys would probably win the game by 20, 30. They were dominating. And then, you know, I feel like the Cowboys had to win the game twice. I feel like they're up 16-0. And then they got back to 16 all because of the tough Simmons call. And then half time it was nil all again. And... You know, Tim, I said it at half time on Channel 9, you know, it's basically nil all now. We've got to go back out there and win it again. And it felt like the Cowboys had to win the game twice, and they did that. So, you know, 
Full credit to the Cowboys on getting the win. You know, if, it, if this was the Cowboys in round three, round four, they would have they would have got smoked. So I have I do see the improvement. I have seen how far they have come since the start of the season. They were 0 and 4 to start the year. They're now five and six. They're in the top eight at the moment until the other games on the weekend. But I wouldn't say it was a great win for the Cowboys. But what I will say was it, what I will say it was a win that the Cowboys had to win. They had to bounce back from last week. They did that. I'd call it a pretty ugly win, but a win that the Cowboys can take and move on to the Warriors next week. But as for the Newcastle Knights, I'm not, I'm not like a lot of injuries at the moment, but they were brave, man. They showed a lot of heart, you know. Let's talk about some of their good players for the Newcastle Knights. So David Clemmer had a great game. The Saifidi brothers were great. Um, Blake Green played all right. His kicking game was solid. Jaden Bradley was fine. Uh, Stafford Toa looked okay. Kurt Mann was terrible, man. I'd fullback. He was really, really poor. Um, you know, Newcastle, they just weren't good enough. They had a few on and off plays. They, they, they just weren't good enough tonight. And for the Cowboys, some of their good plays, you know, I thought, I thought Scott Drinkwater was great. I thought Tom Gilbert played really well at front row. Murray Tulangi scoring a hat-trick was great. I thought he had a really strong game tonight. Um, who else played well, in my opinion? Oh, Mitchell Dunn was great. Um, Clifford was solid, I guess. He wasn't amazing, but he did the job, I guess. But um, nonetheless, you know, the Cowboys, they get the win. 36 points to 20, and, you know, they've got a big game against the Warriors next week up there in Townsville. It should be an interesting game. But my top three players on ground for this game tonight. Number three, I'm going to go with Mitchell Dunn. Number two, I'm going to... Actually, no, no. Number three, I'm going to go with Tom Gilbert. Number two, I'm going to go with Scott Drinkwater. Number one, my man, the match. I'm going to go with Murray Talungi. I thought he was great, scoring three tries tonight, and... I thought it was great. So, Murray Tulangi gets my man the match. But, guys, that's it for the first on football review for round 11. Make sure you guys like the video. Comment your thoughts in the, on the, in the comment section below. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. But, guys, thanks for watching. And you know what? Up the Cowboys!